We think it's important because uh, we've had some unexplained mortalities on our uh, juvenile clams that we've outplanted. Uh, we think uh, this puffer fish might be responsible for killing the clams. We, out, we took the covers off our uh, clam nursery trays at ages two and again at ages three of the clams. Uh, we had a problem with uh, predation. Some animal was crushing the clams and eating them and uh, doing it in great numbers. So at, after a two year period when we first observed the mortality, we replaced the um, plastic mesh covers onto the nursery trays. At age three, we figured that the clams would be resistant to any predators because we had previously outplanted some three-year-old clams and had no mortality, that we took the covers off again at age three. Uh, unfortunately, the predation continued, and we have since put the covers back on. Since that time, um, we've just discovered that this fish summoned uh, speared the fish for us, and we're going to observe it, uh, check the stomach contents, and maybe the fecal pellets, see if there's any uh, zooxanthellae, see if this actually did eat giant clams. But if you can see from his teeth, they're uh, quite large and strong, and we think it's capable of crushing a three-year-old clam. Uh, what I got here is uh, the most, uh, the deadly poisonous fish, we call it puffer, puffer fish. And we, the guy who speared this uh, pufferfish last night told me that it was resting beside the tray. And uh, when he flashed the light on it, then he started swimming really fast toward the deeper water. So he speared it. And when we brought it up, uh, we found a piece of clams, a uh, piece of clam in the, in, the, in the mouth. So we assumed that uh, uh, there's some, uh, uh, maybe a, uh, clam the traders inside, so we're going to split it up and see what's inside. Do you think that uh, the teeth are adequate to break a three-year-old shell top? Yes, I do. I think it's, uh, it's big enough and strong enough to break the clam shell. And They said they found uh, this piece of clam shell next to my fingers in its mouth when they uh, caught it. So it's Could you hold up that piece of clam shell? This is the shell. And that was found in the mouth of the, found in the puffer mouth of fish. This puffer fish. This is a uh, part of a three-year-old Tridactyl derasa clam. It. Te bulu sebel ma kim? Eh, ida ida el mtar bushu. Ya kan luk tu. Aku mesti kau kum lap tabu del ta ngigel. Enang kum lap tabu del. เจ้าบุตรเจ้าบุตรเราเรียกกันปุ่ยชนเจ้าอะไรอัตตาแม่ตุ้งมุดอุ่ยตีเงินเดียร์อาร์มึงมาเรียกกันมุดตัวอะไ
Lagi tidak lang akan lakukan kita. Di tiagi lagi. Ada kata salit di muka. Ini gila atau okey? Ini gila gila poison. Tersal. Ini gila mau ngais. Gila mau ngais. Latihan sen. Di telinga belgaling keng di. So sekitar five minutes. Enak nak ada lelang kan? Ada lel. Ada lel. Ada lel. Tiada ada lelang. Finding uh, pieces of uh, crab, crab claw, um, sea urchin spines. More, more sea urchin spines. Here's a piece of uh, sea urchin, uh, the shell. Here we go. Shell. Looks like uh, maybe a piece of uh, tun shell. With the animal. Crushed shell. Sea star. Um, this what we found in the stomach of this puffer fish was uh, parts of the crab, crab claws. Sea urchin spines, sea urchin spines, and part of a sea urchin shell. Gastropod shell looks like a, maybe a ton shell. Uh, they cracked and ate. And also a uh, sea star. We did not find anything that looked like clam in his stomach. We're, we're going to check uh, some of the fecal material under a microscope and look for zoxanthellae.